Here we have a 2009 BMW 520 diesel M Sport Touring in black. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, we're looking at around 3 to 4 millimetres of tread there. Offside front alloy, as you can see, we've got some quite deep scratches to the alloy on the top of the alloy there. No real sign of any curbing or any cur uh, scuff marks at all though, so just one or two scratches at the top there. Looking down at the offside of the vehicle, I can see a small dink on the driver's door. Apart from that, the bodywork does look very nice, no signs of any other dinks or any dents. One or two light scratches around the uh, offside front arch here, so just require a good polish there. Of course, being black, it's going to show everything under the sun. Some stone chips and some light scratches there to the mirror cap. Looking at your driver's door itself, could do with a few touch-ins, there's a couple of light stone chips here and there. A couple of light scratches below the driver's door, again, nothing too serious, just require a good polish. Some light marks to the handle there. Door edge looks very well though, with no chips at all there. No marks at all as such to the sills, but you can see they are starting to wear, and it's very common with the BMWs to so just wear here on the door sills. You've got your roof bars on top. Rear passenger door, again, one or two light scratches require, uh, require polish, but that's about it. No chips at all down the door edge. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle, looking at the offside rear quarter panel. Again, just one or two light marks, to be honest. Looking at the rear tyre, looking at a good 5mm of tread there. And looking at the offside rear alloy, as you can see we've got a slight curb to the top there. Apart from that, the rest of the alloy does appear to be in nice condition, with just one or two light marks. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, we've got rear parking sensors. There's quite a few light scratches to the uh, back of the tailgate. Again, very common with the cars we have in here. Again, most of them should be able to polish out without a problem. Near side rear quarter appears to be in nice condition and no real sign of any damage to the rear bumper. Looking inside the boot, nice clean condition and you've got your parcel shelf there. Again no spare wheel with the BMW. Taking a look at the near side rear tyre, looking at a good 5mm of tread there, lots of tread on the rear tyre. Looking at the near side rear alloy, you've got some slight curbing there to the alloy, outside edge of the alloy, so might require a refurb. As you can see, you're missing your centre cap there, so do be aware of that. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, again I can spot one dink, apart from that, the bodywork does look very nice with no real sign of any dents, no chips at all in the rear door edge or the front door edge, and again, it's one or two light scratches that could do with a polish, to be honest, apart from that, it's looking well. Light scratches to the mirror. Looking at the front tyre, looking at a good 4mm, 3 to 4mm there, sorry. And the near side front alloy, one or two light little scuffs here and there. Again, no real sign of any curbing to be honest. And moving on to the front of the vehicle, we've got some light scuffs here on the near side front quarter. Front parking sensors. Again, some light scratches to the front there. No real sign of any damage. And again, some light scuffs on the underneath of the front bumper. A lot of stone chips to the front, you can see them dotted around all over the bonnet, so a lot of stone chips to the front. Again, nothing too serious really. Take a look inside the vehicle. As you can see, full black leather interior. Does look very well for the vehicle's age. As you can see, it's very clean and tidy. No sign of any damage at all to the seats either. So, real nice condition in the back there. Let's take a look in the front. Now, to be noted, with the front passenger seat, it is stuck in that position that it's in right now. So, I have tried my best to get that uh, shifted, but it appears to have be this switch here on the front passenger seat is broken um, so the seat will not move forward and back so do beware of that on the front passenger seat apart from that it is in nice condition slight bit of wear into the driver's seat to the bolsters again that's just age related no sign of any damage at all there stepping inside the vehicle you've got also headlights auto wipers and we have only got one key with the vehicle so just one key getting the car started Does start perfectly fine, no issues at all there. It has done quite a few miles, as you can see, 154,541. No symbols appearing on the dash. You've got a mud function M Sport steering wheel, there's a slight bit of wearing in there. Cruise control as well. You've got navigation, as you can see, popping up there, no problems at all functioning that. Again, a CD and radio. Sounds great, no problems there. Air conditioning light indicating it's on and off, and it does come out nice and cold. No problems with any of the blowers. Automatic transmission. 
A little bit of wearing there to the other drive controller as well. Taking a look at the documents, V5, we're looking at two owners on the car, so two owners. Uh, well, it hasn't got an MOT certificate, but we have checked on direct gov there, as you can see the uh, vehicle's details. 14th of the 10th, 2014, so it will need an MOT quite soon. But best of all, guys, we have got full franchise service history, mostly with Russell at Rybrook Shrewsbury, so 16, 35, 45, 53, 63, 70, um, 86, 105, 119, 139, and your last one there, 149,000 miles, all done with us at Rybrook Shrewsbury, so full franchise service history throughout. There you go guys, it's the 2009 BMW 520D M Sport, and for car age, it's not in bad condition at all.